Tigre and I are up in Sandpoint, Idaho. We just picking up the CJ with the new addition of the Tamarack active winglet. So we're going to show you how to do the pre-flight. Relatively simple. Externally, we come along here, show what they added. It's really cool. So basically, these are the winglets. So this is just glare shield for lighting. Here's a really cool custom Whelan uh, LED lights. So we're coming along, we're verifying that everything's okay. This is intact. Come here, this is just an abrasion tape. We make sure that that's in one piece. Everything's good to go on that. Come across, these are all carbon fiber. We got two new static wicks. Another good idea to make sure you use covers on top of them so nobody gets impaled. So we're coming down through here. Here's our tax. So it's the Tamarack Active cam Camber uh, surface. And so these will move in response to turbulence. So anytime it gets above 1.25 Gs on the aircraft, they'll either go up a maximum of 20 degrees and they'll go down a maximum of 10 degrees. So what we come along for the pre-flight, we just make sure they're fared with the wingtip. Don't worry about the ailerons too much because they could be moved either way, but the wingtip. And then they're all controlled by a, a TCU, which is the tax control unit. That's what operates up those. So that's all we do to check. And this does the load alleviation. On typical winglets that are passive, if these weren't there, because this is patented by Tamarack, is that you have to add a lot of additional strengthening in the wing because you're putting another load. Because remember, what winglets are doing here is simply, well, not simply, but they're expanding, they're changing the aspect rate, uh, ratio of the wing, and they're taking that wingtip vortice that comes underneath in flight, right underneath here, and takes that air and captures it against here, that vortice, and gives us additional lift. So it's like extending the wing, and so it, um, it sort of eliminates the wingtip vortices that you typically have on a flat wing. So what would happen normally, in a, as I mentioned on a regular winglet, is if you extend it, you add this surface, it's like extending the wing, putting my hand all the way out like that would be extended. So you have to strengthen it. So with these, this does load alleviation system. That's what the ATLAS stands for. And so that entire thing then allows you to reduce the load on the wing, which is really nice in turbulence. But that's all we have to check. In the belly, in there, inside, they did a little wiring in here. And then also inside the belly in here, up front, is where they put the Atlas control unit, the ACU. Nothing else on this. We're just checking the plane. I like to check these uh, st static grounds here. These here, these are important to do. And uh, so the best way to do is once you land is sometime is get the flaps all the way down, leave your spoilers up so you can check those. So that's one of the things I check. But that's really basically our check. And we check it on the other side. We'll go check on the other, other winglet. And it just looks so pretty. I come back here and I get this view. Look at that, isn't that cool? Of course, it, you have to make sure you have a hanger that fits it, but it's really neat. So we come over here, we're gonna check this on this side. And there, we just said check the hydraulic. Oh, I got dirt on our plane. How'd you get dirt on your plane? I don't know, I don't know, it's touching something. So I've gotta wipe that off. So again, we've done our pre-flight before, but we're just checking again. Again, these are the little ground, ground straps in through here. Got that set, looks good. They fray there, so that's what we look for. Same thing over here. Make sure our tacks can move freely. And then again, we make sure that they're fared with the winglet itself. Got that static wicks in place, those two, the leading edge abrasion tape, lights are good, glare shields on, everything looks intact. So one of the things I do wanna do, I just notice it, very picky, I like my caps perfectly aft. So we've done the rest of our pre-flight, but that's basically the only other addition on the exterior is to check that. Then when we get in the cockpit, we'll show you. And basically what we go through is a built-in test, a bit test. And so we'll press the uh, in op button as it's called three times in three seconds and we'll go through its test. And then you'll see the tacks move up and down. We'll show you how that works. So now we're doing the test of the Atlas system in here. So what we do, we turn on our Battery, we turn on our, uh, and we'll turn on the avionics in a moment, but we're not gonna start with that and we'll do that, but I'll show you how it works. Come up here, 
battery, avionics are on, the light goes off. That's the Atlas and up. Then you press it three times within three seconds. One, two, three. And then it exercises the tax by way of the TCUs, the tax control unit. So you can actually feel it. You probably can't hear it, but we can feel it. Okay, so it's all done. Test is done. That built-in test is done. Off to flying.